In 2020, in a small California mountain town, five women disappeared. I found out what happened to all of them, except one, a woman known as Dia, whose estate is worth millions of dollars. I'm Lucy Sheriff. Over the past four years, I've spoken with Dia's family and friends, and I've discovered that everyone has a different version of events. Hear the story on Where's Dear. Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey there, folks. Amy Robach and TJ Holmes here from the Amy and TJ Podcast. That's right. We are bringing you the tea from Paris beginning every single day, Friday, July 26th at 9 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, tea from Paris. I don't know if we're married to that name, but the point is we'll tell you what's <laughs> going on. We'll tell you what's hot, what's not. Bottom line, everything you need to know that's going on in Paris during the 2024 games, you're going to get it from us. Listen to Amy and TJ on the iHeart Radio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Danny Shapiro, host of the hit podcast, Family Secrets. Imagine this. Your parents sign away your childhood to an academic psychological study. And what about if your sister is very publicly tried, convicted, and sent to prison, when really she was just telling her long-buried truths? These tough questions are just a few that we'll be grappling with on our upcoming 10th season of Family Secrets. Listen to season 10 of Family Secrets on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome to the Sino Show. I'm your host, Sino McFarlane. I'm an addiction specialist. I'm a coach, I'm a translator, and I'm God's middleman. My job is to crack hearts and let the light in and help everyone shift the narrative. I want to help you wake up and I want to help you get free. Most importantly, I don't want you to feel alone. Listen to the Sino Show every Wednesday on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. It is time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com by clicking Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. And you never know, it could be yours. It could be yours. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, Strawberry Letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, how important is conversation when you're in love? Dear Stephen Shirley, my boyfriend is the sweetest person I've ever dated. We met when he picked me up from the airport in his SUV. I had just moved to Alabama and my company hired him to be my driver until my car was delivered. He showed me around the city and introduced me to some of his female friends, but they weren't the kind of women I wanted to be associated with. Um... They're big weed smokers and drinkers, and I'm more laid back. I needed someone to hang out with, so the driver was always available to go to dinner, festivals, and movies with me. He's a, he's a Southerner, so I had to get used to how he talked. After a few weeks of being in a new city, I needed sex, so I invited him to spend the night. When I tell you this guy knows exactly what to do in the bed, he showed no mercy, and I was hooked. It was hard to go a day without him, so he started staying at my house every night. We don't talk much, but we have a lot of great sex, and he's been gracious with money and doing things around the house. I was bragging on him to my sister, and she asked if I was talking about the the dude that sounds like he rode the short bus. She FaceTime with him a lot, and she always jokes about how he talks. He's a fast talker, but at times he hesitates when he forget what he's when he forgets what he's about to say. Next, he laughs at himself when he does it, so it's never been a big deal to me. I'm falling in love with him. So does it matter what other people think? Does his good quality, do his good qualities override how bad he sounds when he talks? (laughs) Uh, You're kidding, right? You're you're thinking of throwing away a good guy because you don't like the way he talks? Really? (laughs) I mean, this kind of sounds ridiculous, don't you think? You said this guy is the sweetest person you have ever dated. That's what you said. You said this man is great in bed. He's generous with his money and he helps you around the house. I mean, what all do you want? I mean, obviously he likes you. He spends time with you. He's not cheating that you know of. Uh, Your sister said he sounds slow because of his Southern drawl. And um, 
I think you better watch her, by the way, because she sounds like she's doing a little too much already FaceTiming him and all of that. Just keep your eye on her. And, and I just say this to you again. If you think he's a good guy, he sounds like a good guy. Uh, forget how he talks. As long as he treats you well, you can understand him, right? You can understand him. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, especially your hating sister. OK, nephew. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So listen, I, I was trying to tell you. Uh, 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 now, yeah, yeah. What? Uh, what? Hey, hey, come, come, come back around and do it red, 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 red. That's how he sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at baby, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go around and we're going to give you something, you know, come back and give you a treat, 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 I'm kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is he yeah, saying, yeah. Uh, What? <laughs> What? What? Look! 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 You got a man that can't talk. You got a man that can't talk, but he got he got some good love and go with him though. So you got to you got to you got to decide, baby, which one you want. Either you want a man that's going to talk articulate and has everything that you're looking for, or you got this hillbilly show enough that's going to be bringing it, and that's what you got there. And you go <laughs> when I put this thing on, you you, you go lose it right here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I put this thing on, break your back. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but anyway, you got yourself a man. You don't know what to do. And you know what? You, 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 it is what it is. You know, you, but do you love him? If you care about him, then it doesn't really He's matter. Mm-hmm. You're falling for him. You know what? Because he put that thing on you. You know what I'm saying? Lights, die. Yeah. 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 So you got you a good man. You know, every every good man's gonna have some, you know, some 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 things that are, are not good qualities. Okay, he can't talk that well. That's all right. But you love him. If you love him, then, hey, it is what it is. You know, you know, uh, make yeah. the best of it. I, uh, yeah, everything you know, was. I, 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 in, in my past, I had some women can't talk. You know, I had some. Oh, you have. <laughs> Oh yeah, couldn't talk worth a doggone. I had some. Ooh, 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 I hope she don't open her mouth when we get over here. I've had some, you know. But you take, but but I'm talking about drop dead fine as all get out. What? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Everything was fine until her sister jumped in and started. Everything talking. was fine until he tried to say something, sure. <laughs> till he opened his mouth. <laughs> till he opened his mouth. Oh, I don't like his character. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We're gonna go, go see Miss Ellen. We got two tickets. Come on back on here. It's Sierra. It's Sierra. Sierra. Them. They tell what? 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 Ooh, you like that? Don't you like that? Mm, you like that? Don't All right. Like that. Like that. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have part two of today's strawberry letter. Coming up at 23 minutes after the hour, <laughs> we'll hear for more from the crew. Junior, we're going to be, we, 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 we be right back. At, right after this. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't work Today's here. Strawberry Letter <laughs> subject. <laughs> How important is conversation when you're in love? <laughs> back after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. In the summer of 2020, in the small mountain town of Idlewild, California, five women disappeared in the span of just a few months. Eventually, I found out what happened to the women, all except one, a woman named Lydia Abrams, known as Dia. Her friends and family ran through endless theories. Was she hurt hiking? Did she run away? Had she been kidnapped? I'm Lucy Sheriff. I've been reporting this story for four years, and I've uncovered a tangled web of manipulation estranged families and greed. Everyone, it seems, has a different version of events. 
Hear the story on Where's Dia, my new podcast from Pushkin Industries and iHeart Podcasts. Listen on the iHeart Radio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey there, folks. Amy Robach and TJ Holmes here from the Amy and TJ Podcast. That's right. We are bringing you the tea from Perry beginning every single day. Friday, July 26th at 9 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, T from Perry. I don't know if we're married to that name, but the point is, we'll tell you what's going on. We'll tell you what's hot, what's not. Bottom line, everything you need to know that's going on in Paris during the 2024 games, you're going to get it from us. Listen to Amy and TJ on the iHeart Radio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Katie Lowe's. And I'm Guillermo Diaz. And now we're back with another season of our podcast, Unpacking the Toolbox, where Guillermo and I will be rewatching the show. To officially unpack season three of Scandal. Unpredictable. You don't see it coming. It's a wild, wild ride. The twists and turns in season three. Mesmerizing. But also we get to hang out with all of our old Scandal friends like Bellamy Young, Scott Foley, Tony Goldwyn, Debbie Allen, Kerry Washington. So many people. Even more shocking assassinations from Papa and Mama Pope. And you. Yes, Katie and I's famous teeth-pulling scene that kicks off a romance. And it was peak TV. This is new scandal content for your eyes, for your ears, for your hearts, for your minds. Well, suit up, gladiators. Grab your big old glass of wine and prepare yourselves for an even more behind the scenes. Listen to Unpacking the Toolbox on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Meet the real woman behind the tabloid headlines in a personal podcast that delves into the life of the notorious Tori Spelling as she takes us through the ups and downs of her sometimes glamorous, sometimes chaotic life and marriage. I don't think he knew how big it would be, how big the life I was given and live is. I think he was like, oh, yeah, things come and go. But with me, it never came and went. Is she Donna Martin or a down and out divorcee? Is she living in Beverly Hills or a trailer park? In a town where the lines are blurred, Tori is finally going to clear the air in the podcast, Miss Spelling. When a woman has nothing to lose, she has everything to gain. I just filed for divorce. Whoa, I said the words (laughs) that I've said like in my head for like 16 years. Wild. Listen to Miss Spelling on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, it's time now to recap today's Strawberry Letter. The subject, how important is conversation when you're in love? Uh, This young woman wrote in, she says her boyfriend is the sweetest person she's ever dated. Um... He picked her up from the airport in his SUV. She had just moved to Alabama. Her company hired him to be her driver until her car was delivered. It takes a minute after you move uh, to get your car. So she had a driver for that, thanks to her company. She said the driver showed her around the city. He introduced her to some of his friends. They were a little too hood, too ghetto for her. They weren't her cup of tea. They smoked weed and all that, and they were drinkers. She's a little more laid back. So, but she did need someone to hang out with. So guess what? The driver was there. So they started hanging out, okay? They went to dinner. They went to festivals, movies. She said he's from the South. He's a Southerner. So she really had to get used to how he talked. After a few weeks of being in a new city, she said that, um, you know, she needed some sex or whatever. She needed to do it. So she invited him to spend the night. And she said, these are her words. When I tell you, this guy knows exactly what to do in the bed. So then she's, he was nice to her. He was giving her money, all of this stuff. He, he, he helped her with things around the house. So she started bragging to him about her, to her sister. And her sister said, you mean the one that sounds like he rode in on the short bus? And then she started thinking that maybe this guy wasn't right for her uh, because the sister FaceTimed her a lot. And she was always joking about how he talks. But she said she started falling in love with the guy. So she wants to know, does it matter what other people like her sister thinks? And, and, and she's asking us, do his good qualities override how bad he sounds when he talks? Junior? Talk for what? <laughs> what are we talking for? The sex is good. Uh-huh. It's people with bad sex talk great. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong. You can understand everything they saying. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But the sex is horrible. 
if you getting good sex, what you want to talk for? Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about what your sister's saying. Don't worry about none of that. If the sex is this good, why talk? There's other ways to communicate you ain't looking at. Like, if you can't talk, give them pen and paper, let it write it down. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Understand that. <laughs> give him a pen and paper. What you uh, say, baby? I said, do you want to go eat? That's it. You ain't say he couldn't spell. You can't even say that. Come on, he man. can't say it, but he can spell it. You can understand that. If if you if the sex is this good and you want to talk to him, uh-huh. let him email you. He didn't say he couldn't email. <laughs> let him put it in an email. The well, sex Junior, is good. Junior, women do like to talk. Yeah. You know what? Let Siri say it for him. <laughs> <laughs> There's some other ways he can say it. You ain't got to worry about him talking. Uh-huh. This sex is good. What's good is if the sex is bad and you understand everything, you could be mad the whole time. But now you got somebody who sex good, you can't understand. Him. This your biggest problem. This your yeah. get a, get one of his relatives to interpret it for him. Just somebody who's been talking to him for a long time. Yeah, let somebody just tell him what do what he say to him, how he say it. <laughs> he say you want to go to the movies and see it bad boys for you you want to go he <laughs> said all that <laughs> all that right there see that see how that works somebody who can talk for him <laughs> oh he said you fine as hell better than miss elliot <laughs> that can sound said? like that dude. yeah yeah <laughs> That's all you gotta do Get somebody to chirp it for him. You don't need You ain't got to He ain't got to talk He bring He he doing other things That may Matter of fact You ain't even talking You in there screaming Cause he He ain't got He ain't got to talk You screaming And you worried This what you doing It's okay Do you If it, if it's sign language Two two Sign language Two thumbs up mm-hmm. Everybody know what two thumbs up mean That's all That's all good That's all That's good, all good. <laughs> How would he how say, he say for instance, nephew, huh? how would he say uh, vote for Kamala? How would he say that? Say <laughs> what he, happened? He said he said he voting for Kamala Harris and he's excited about the energy surrounding her. Yeah. He said oh. all that. All that. That's what that mean. It don't matter. I'm, 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 I'm her. What do you say? One more time for me. Tell me I'm with her. Oh, yeah. He said he with her. Uh, I'm with her. He said, I'm with her. That's what, what he said. said. Yeah, wow. hey, you can turn it on. That's all you need. Quit worrying about if he can't talk. Don't worry about that. Man. You're getting everything you want. <laughs> God, he hang out with you. He stay with you. He do everything with you. Uh-huh. Just get uh-huh. a third party and let him stand in the corner. While y'all, while y'all doing y'all thing, he can, he can interpret. Matter of fact, interpret can interpret what you saying. You screaming, oh, Lord. She said, oh, Lord. That's it. Wow. <laughs> And you don't can, listen to your sister, please. Yeah, please mm-hmm. don't. You're going to lose matter your mate. Fact, matter of mm-hmm. fact, Junior, if she go there and get to drinking and smoking with everybody else, she really will start understanding his ass. I promise. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> with his friends that he introduced her to. She yep. said she was no. too laid back for them, though. She did say that. Yeah, no. No, uh-huh. it, it, okay. it just doesn't matter. It's just He's a good guy. He just can't talk. He's right. right. What we right. got? What we got? Bubba from, from Forrest Gump? Remember Bubba Gump? Was uh-huh. Bubba Gump? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> About that shrimp. About that shrimp. That's it. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I wouldn't mm-hmm. be worried if I was you, ma'am. Right. Okay. So basically, you're saying his good qualities do override Absolutely. how bad he sounds when he talks. Definitely. Man, he <laughs> hang out with you. He's a gentleman. He's driving. All right, guys. <laughs> you can leave your comments on today's letter on Instagram at Steve Harvey. And check us out at the Strawberry Let- on the Strawberry Letter Podcast on the free iHeartRadio app where free never sounded so good. Now, coming up next, it is Junior and Sports Talk right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. In 2020, in a small California mountain town, five women disappeared. I found out what happened to all of them, except one, a woman known as Dia, whose estate is worth millions of dollars. I'm Lucy Sheriff. Over the past four years, I've spoken with Dia's family and friends, and I've discovered that everyone has a different version of events. Hear the story on Where's Dia? Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. 
Hey there, folks. Amy Robot and TJ Holmes here from the Amy and TJ Podcast. That's right. We are bringing you the tea from Perry beginning every single day, Friday, July 26th at 9 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, tea from Perry. I don't know if we're married to that name, but the point is, we'll tell you what's going on. We'll tell you what's hot, what's not. Bottom line, everything you need to know that's going on in Paris during the 2024 games, you're going to get it from us. Listen to Amy and TJ on the iHeart Radio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. For 10 years, I've been obsessed with one of the most bizarre and audacious cons in rock and roll history. We were all facing 20 years and all that good stuff. The lead singer tried to pull off an English accent, and they went on the road as the zombies. These guys are not going to get away with it. The zombies are too popular. Listen to the true story of the fake zombies on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome to Criminalia. I'm Maria Tremurki. And I'm Holly Fry. Together, we invite you into the dark corridors of history and true crime. For each season, we explore a new theme. From poisoners to stalkers, art thieves to snake oil salesmen. And tune in at the end of each episode as we indulge in cocktails and mocktails inspired by each story. Listen to Criminalia on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.